Hello, my name is Robin Papworth. I'm a developmental educator, exercise physiologist, mum of three little ones. My twins are nearly seven and my youngest is three. I wanted to talk to you about the link between exercise and learning and why it's so important for our children to be active every day. To start with knowing this link, I'm going to explain what happens to our body when we exercise. Now the word exercise doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to run a marathon, ride a bike for five kilometres or do a high intensity fitness class. Exercise can mean a range of things. Exercise can mean dancing in your lounge room, playing on the playground, working out in the garden, riding a slow bike with our family and friends, taking the dog for a walk, throwing and catching a ball out in the yard. I tend to see that a lot of people will see the word exercise in my job title and think that I'm a fitness professional or that I work out in the gym a lot. And I use exercise as a way to treat a range of different health conditions. Through my role as an exercise physiologist, I've mainly worked in an area called neurorehabilitation. It's rehabilitation of the brain. I use exercise as my medicine. I use exercise to help people who have stroke, Parkinson's disease, multiple sclerosis, autism, ADHD, anxiety, and difficulties with learning. The reason why I use exercise is because exercise has the amazing capability to calm the body and, and excite the brain. And I'm gonna explain how that happens. So when we exercise, whether I'm jumping up on the spot or I'm playing ball with my, with my pet dog, what I'm getting is I'm getting a boost of blood flow around my body. As soon as my body moves more, my heart rate increases. My heart needs to pump oxygen and energy to my muscles to keep them going. If I don't get enough oxygen and energy to my muscles, then my muscles don't, don't have the energy to be able to move and my movement stops. So my heart rate increases and, and every time that I move my body. And it's good that my heart rate is increasing because it's increasing blood flow around my body. What I love about exercise is not only is it increasing blood flow to my body, it's increasing blood flow to my brain. We all know that if we go for a walk, we feel better. If we go out for a swim, we feel better. If we're dancing in our, in our kitchen and we're having fun playing with our friends, afterwards, we feel better. It's because the increased oxygen and energy around our body and particularly to our brain helps with sleep, mood, stress, anxiety, focus. And it's the same for children. We feel better after moving and children feel better after moving as well. When we increase our blood flow around our body, we increase the amount of oxygen and energy to the brain. Research has shown that the two areas of the brain that are bigger in people who exercise versus people who don't get enough exercise are the prefrontal cortex and the medial temporal lobe. You don't need to remember those parts of the brain, but what you do need to remember is those two parts of the brain, prefrontal cortex, medial temporal lobe, are responsible for executive function, memory, attention. Executive function, we're looking at control of behavior, managing our impulses, being able to complete complex tasks so that we remember the steps and then we're able to put them all together in a complex behavior. If you know children that are struggling with these areas, the first question I ask is, what do you do after school? So I'll have children struggling in the classroom with these areas. I ask them, what do you do after school? And the typical answer that I get is, I play Fortnite, I watch YouTube, I play Minecraft. And we know that oxygen and energy are crucial for these areas of the brain, but children aren't encouraging exercise after school. Now, it's not all your responsibility. It's not all a parent's responsibility. It's teamwork. It's getting parents and educators together, which is what I do through all of my online courses, bringing everyone together to show you the research. The research is exercise increases oxygen and energy to our brain and our brain needs oxygen and energy to be able to think, remember, pay attention, focus, control our behavior. So what we wanted to see and what I'm passionate about getting the message out there is if there's children that are misbehaving at school, these children need more exercise. They don't need to spend their recess in the library because they haven't been able to complete their work. They need to get out there in the playground and run and jump and climb. They need to throw and catch and dance in the hallway and get the body moving because children who are struggling in these areas need more oxygen and energy that comes through exercise. So that's the basic link for you between exercise and learning. We all know that when we move, we focus better and we remember better. And that is because of the two areas, prefrontal cortex and medial temporal lobe. So these are the things that I'd like you to remember. If you want to learn more, simply go to my course, Educating Children Through Movement and Play. 
Come and say hello on Facebook at Play Move Improve. And all of my resources aim to increase the amount of exercise that children get per day. If you're at home or if you're in the classroom today, all you need is a ball. Throw and catch the ball, bounce the ball around to each other, roll the ball underneath your legs, try and get the body moving and it's just a simple ball. If you don't have a ball at home, you don't have a ball in your classroom, best thing is scrunch a piece of paper, create a ball, throw it at sight words, throw it down at the ground when you're frustrated. We want children to move more and I can assure you that if I gave a ball to a child, their face lights up because it's exciting and it's play and it will boost oxygen and energy to their brain. So thank you for listening. I look forward to seeing you in my other courses.